Hello, it's me, Eric P. Uh, I've got a story for, uh, for you now from 2019. Uh, it's about a guy whose uh, pawn stash was uh, destroyed. Uh, so I'll give you a little bit of detail on that. It's quite an important historical story, this one. Uh, I quite enjoyed it. Right, I'll tell you about it. Uh, apparently this guy named Paul Working, uh, he moved in with his parents in 2016. Uh, after a divorce, uh, so he had nowhere to stay, so he went and stayed with his parents. Uh, anyway, uh, he brought his pawn stash with him. Uh, I don't know what he had in there, uh, but yeah, he had that with him. Uh, he stayed with his parents, who were uh, Paul and uh, Beth working. Uh, he stayed with them for 10 months. Anyway, he left, uh, found an apartment and he left. Uh, while he was gone, uh, he asked uh, his parents for his pawn stash back. Uh, but apparently they'd uh, destroyed it all. Uh, they said it was a bit unhealthy, uh, so they destroyed it. Uh, I don't know what he had in it. Uh, you know, like I said, uh, like hamsters, uh, nipple clamps, uh, his favourite sock. I don't know exactly what he had in there. Does some pretty weird stuff, I think. Uh, anyway, he decided that he wasn't satisfied with this, uh, so he took it to court. He got himself a solicitor, uh, or a lawyer, as they say in America, uh, and he took him to court. Uh, anyway, in Michigan, uh, in 2019, uh, the judge awarded uh, David there, they, uh, they awarded him $35,000 from his parents. Uh, and to top it off, uh, apparently his parents had to pay like uh, 14500 in uh, legal costs. Uh, so yeah, I doubt he'd have been very popular. I don't think he came round for Christmas dinner and had a bit of turkey after that. I think they'd have been pretty annoyed with him. Uh, so yeah, I mean, there's lots of people that quite like having their uh, stash of porn burnt, uh, especially before the police confiscate it. I mean, uh, you know, Gary Glitter, you know, for instance. Anyway, uh, so yeah, they burnt it and had to pay $45,000 plus apparently. Uh, so yeah, uh, a bit of an unusual story. I just thought I'd tell you about it. You know, I like to keep people up to date with uh, major historical events, you know. I could have covered, covered uh, Alexander the Great or something like that, but I thought no. I'll cover this story instead. Just as important, I think. Yeah. Uh, right, well, I hope you uh, enjoyed that. You know, it's something to talk about. You know, what would you do in that situation? Would you take your parents to the uh, courts if they set fire to your blow-up dolls and things and your, and your uh, rubber gimp suit and things like that? Would you? What would you do about it? You know, just please, uh, you know, leave it down in the comments. Say how you would uh, deal with the situation. And if you were pair, you know, your son did that to you, you know, what would your reaction be? You know, just get involved in the comments underneath and uh, have a little discussion. So, uh, yeah. Uh, right, well, uh, I hope you enjoyed that. I am trying to do longer episodes, uh, but uh, not really uh, sure what to cover at the moment. I'll do another edit piece show later in the week, or maybe next week. Uh, I'm just doing a few things at the moment. A bit of this and a bit of that. You know how it works. Right, well, I'll see you later. Thanks for watching the show. Bye. Oh, right, you're still here. Right, well, see you later. Yep.